Hey guys, welcome to another math lesson. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to find the mean when uh, the data is grouped. So if you have a look at our set of data, we have a lot of numbers that are occurring more than once. So for example, the number 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The number 3 has occurred 6 times. And <clears throat> So when we want to find the mean of this group of data and uh, rather than doing it the traditional way where we add all the numbers together so we'll have to go 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus, three plus, three plus 4 plus 4 and so on add them all together and then dividing it by however many numbers there are so that is the sorry I should write the formula so the mean is the sum of uh, x, the sum of all the numbers here, divided by how many numbers there are, which is adding all the numbers together, dividing it by how many numbers there are, and then arrive at our answer. That's going to take a little bit longer than this other way, which I'm going to show you, which is like a little shortcut. So the first thing we want to do is put the data into a table form. So what we do is we're going to have a table with two columns, X and F. So X just represents the list of the different X values that we have in our data set. So we have threes and we have fours and we have fives and we have sixes and we have sevens so X <clears throat> is a list of the possible X values and now we look at the frequency which is how many times X occurs so let's look at the number three it has occurred one two three four five six six times let's look at number four one two three four five four has occurred five times Let's look at the number five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five has occurred ten times. Six has occurred one, two, three, four, so four times. And seven has occurred twice. Okay, so now that we have the data in table form what we're going to do is find out the total frequency so <clears throat> the total frequency is uh, 6 plus 5 plus 10 plus 4 plus 2 so let me just get a calculator so we have 6 plus 5 plus 10 plus 4 plus 2. So I'm just adding down this column here. And I have 27. So the sum of F, the sum of F is 27. So what that means is we have 27 numbers in our data set. Six of them are threes, five of them are fours, ten of them are fives, four of them are sixes, and two of them are sevens. And in total, there's 27 scores. Okay, so what we're going to do now is add another column. Called F times X. So how do we fill in this new column? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to get the number of X times by F. So it'll be 3 times 6, which is 18. So the first cell here is 18. So that's what F times X means. The number F times the number x, 6 times 3, which is the same as 3 times 6. 
So basically, we just get the number from the first cell multiplied by the number in the second cell. So that's what fx means. So let's go 4 times 5, which is 20. 5 times 10 is 50. 6 times 4 is 24. 7 times 2 is 14. Okay, now that we have done this, uh, we're going to fill in our last cell here by adding up all the numbers. So actually, let me just rub out this little F here. Because, um, yeah, basically we're adding up everything here to give us the final uh, cell. So 18 plus 20. Let's use our calculator. We got 18 plus 20 plus 50 plus 24 plus 14. And the answer is 126. So 126 is the total of all the numbers down this column. And now. To find the mean of this group data, all we're going to do is use the formula. The mean is equal to the sum of fx divided by the sum of f. So what that means is we've already calculated the sum of fx, which is this number here, which is 126 divided by the sum of f, which is 27. So 126 divided by 27 using our calculator. Is 4.66. 4.67 to two decimal places. And you would have received the same answer doing it this way compared to if you had added up all the numbers individually like so and divided by uh, 27 and that will give you the same answer. So well, you might ask why can't we just do it the old way? Why can't we just add them up each one individually? Well that will probably work uh, if you have a small data set like this one. If you had a really large data set, so for example, you might have 100 fives or uh, 200 sixes, then doing it using the table would be a lot quicker. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial on how to find the mean for group data. See you next time. <clears throat>